Hey, let's set up Tailwind CSS with Remix. First, we'll run npm init remix to get a new remix project going in our current directory. It doesn't matter what deployment target you pick for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with the first one. And I'll tell it to run npm install as well. Next, let's npm install Tailwind CSS. Now that that's installed, let's run npx tailwind css init, which will scaffold out a basic tailwind config file in our project. Let's change the mode to JIT or just in time, which will use the new compiler to generate small CSS files based on the classes that we use. You can read more about that on the tailwind docs. We'll also configure this purge array to look at any folder and any file within the app folder. That's a JSX or TSX file. This tells the just-in-time compiler where to look for our Tailwind classes. If you don't configure this properly, the generated CSS will not include the classes you expect it to, so make sure that you have this line in there. Next, let's create an input CSS file that the Tailwind CSS CLI can process. I'm going to go into app slash styles, and I'll just call mine input.css. Let's scaffold it out with the three basic Tailwind directives that will then get expanded by the Tailwind CSS CLI into the necessary classes. Great. Let's open up our package JSON and add a new NPM script. I'm going to call mine watch CSS. We'll use the Tailwind CSS CLI to take in that input file that we just created and output a processed Tailwind CSS file. Let's also pass the dash dash watch flag, which will rerun this process whenever we make a change in our routes. Let's test this out. We should see a new tailwind.css file in our styles directory. And we do. Great. Next, let's go into our root route and import our process tailwind CSS file. I'll call this tailwind URL and we'll import it from dot slash styles slash tailwind CSS. I'll add it to our links function to make sure that Remix imports it. With our npm watch CSS script still running, let's open up a new terminal tab and run the Remix dev server. Now, if we navigate to localhost 3000, we should be able to add some tailwind CSS classes in our route and see them take effect. Let's try this out now. And there it is. That's all you have to do to get Tailwind CSS set up for development with Remix. Now, let's add one more script that we can run to build our CSS for production. Let's copy this line and just make a few small changes. I'm going to call this script build CSS. And the majority of it's going to be the same, except at the end, I'm going to tack on a dash dash minify flag, which will use nano CSS to minify our CSS file. We're also going to prepend node env equals production, which will tell Tailwind CSS that we're building for production and to turn on its optimizations. Now with this setup, you should be good to go. Just make sure to run this command before you build and deploy your remix site. I'm Austin Krim, and thanks for watching.